Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is TJ Erickson. I am a teacher and a fishing guide located in beautiful Park Rapids, Minnesota, and I am back from my vacation, as you can tell by my beautiful bronze skin. My wife and I are back from Jamaica. It was an amazing trip, and as awesome as it was, I am very much glad to be back out on the ice. And today I'm gonna to address a question that I've been getting a lot on social media and in the comments on my YouTube videos, and that has to do with live scope orientation. So today I'm gonna to run through all the different types of orientations that LiveScope offers, forward, down, and perspective mode. So it's gonna be a lot of information coming at you, but first I'm gonna talk about the different modes that LiveScope offers. As you look at the transducer, you can see it has a little bit of a point on this end. Right now, this is forward mode. When you do one click down, well, I guess I'm not very strong. When you do one click down, oh my goodness. When you do one click down, like that, that is considered down mode. Now to get to perspective mode, this is the summit pole, so it might be a little different than some of the other poles or other options that you have, but I'm gonna show you a little bit. I have this screw right here, and when you go into perspective mode, you turn it on its side like that. I'm gonna go a lot more into detail and give you a lot of visuals on exactly what that looks like and exactly what the beam looks like while you are out on the water. So I'm gonna first talk about the one that I use the most and that is forward mode. So my transducer is sitting just like this. The top part is parallel to the ice or parallel to ground. So the LiveScope transducer essentially has three different transducers built into one that they kind of stitch together to give you this picture. So it's three transducers that shoot out at a 45 degree angle that they stitch together to come up with a 135 degree angle that shoots out from the transducer. And as you're in forward mode, the majority of that angle is shooting forward with a little bit of it shooting back. And the top of it is about parallel with the ice or with the water and the back shoots out just a little bit at that backwards angle. So that's also why you can still get that down view while you are in the forward orientation on the transducer by changing it on the software. So as you turn your transducer, now it shoots down at an angle of 20 degrees. So you have your 135 degrees shooting forward and back. And as it shoots down, it shoots down at an angle of 20 degrees. And similar to traditional sonar, when that goes down, the farther it goes down, the wider of a beam that it covers on the ground. So now as you move it into down mode on the transducer, you still have your 135 degree angle, but you can see it's just shifted a little bit. So it's gonna look a little bit different on your screen. So I'm gonna move it into down mode on my live scope here. I'll go to menu, sonar setup, installation, orientation forward. I'm in right now and I'm gonna switch it to down. So now in down mode, you're still having that 135 degree cone, but now you're basically taking out the middle section of it. So you have directly underneath and then you have 67.5 degrees on one side, 67.5 degrees on the other side, but you have that middle section taken out to zoom in a little bit more and to give you a little better clarity that what's directly underneath you. And one thing that I found is when I'm in down mode, a lot of times it will clear up your picture just a little bit. It improves kind of where those stitching pieces are to give you a little bit less of that dead space on your screen. So it improves that picture, mostly because it gets rid of some of that dead space, depending on the angle that you're sitting and how deep you are sitting as well. So that 20 degrees and 135 degrees doesn't change no matter the direction that it's facing. It just changes the angle at which the transducer is sitting. So it's gonna show up a little bit different on your live scope. So now we're gonna talk about perspective mode. So when you're in perspective mode, it's still the same angles, but now you're taking that, and instead of being up and down, you're flipping it onto its side. So you're seeing more horizontally instead of vertically. And one of the things that I found is it can be sometimes challenging to see fish. I'm gonna insert a little clip here from this summer where I saw a ton of fish in perspective mode. And this is about as clear as a picture as I have seen on mine. I've seen some more clear pictures other places, but this is clearly what you can see, some fish, you can see their shadows, you can see a lot of different things on this, but it's just a little bit tougher to distinguish. And one of the things that I've noticed is that the fish has to be pretty big or you have to get pretty close to it in order to pick it out, especially if you're on some hard bottom where it's giving a pretty 
bright return. And especially with perspective mode, I don't have this one dialed in. It's not something that I use a lot. I could see it being very applicable maybe when you're musky fishing or fishing for some bigger fish. Um, I've used it a little bit to find different pieces of structure, both rock, weed patches, things like that. But I haven't been able to use it quite as efficiently for targeting fish, especially because it seems like it's most effective in less than around 10 feet of water and those fish get so spooky. So in order to see those fish, you have to zoom out quite a ways and the further you zoom out, the smaller those fish seem because you have a much bigger area that you're viewing. So again, like I said, for those bigger fish, those are gonna be a little bit easier to see in that shallow water, um, especially if you're zoomed out a little bit, but say walleyes, maybe bass, some of those fish get a little bit tougher to see. I have been able to see it, haven't really been able to track my jigs, sometimes some bigger baits I'll see on there, um, but it does seem like the walleyes, the bass, some of those fish are a little bit tougher to find in that perspective mode, but it can be very good for finding some of that structure. But I typically use my side imaging um, for finding those pieces of structure, both weed patches and rocks and hard bottom flats, things like that. Um, I use my side imaging for because it gives a little clearer picture. So there you have it. I hope that helps you understand the live scope orientation forward, down, perspective mode. I'm a visual learner, so I hope that helps give you a better visual of exactly what's going on down there when you're using it in forward mode, in down mode, and maybe even to perspective mode. And if there's anything else that you would like to see or any other questions that you have, make sure you leave it in the comments. Like I said, I've had a lot of questions on live scope orientation specifically, and instead of typing out a response for everyone, I wanted to do a quick synopsis of exactly what forward, down, perspective mode looks like on the live scope orientation. So I hope you found value in this video. If you did, I would love it if you would subscribe. We've got a lot more content content plan, got some trips planned, got a lot of cool ideas. So I'm looking forward to taking you guys along and like always, good luck out there. We'll see you next time.